Well, I think we better go in a little bit here. I've got a lot to say. Listen here. I have done a full video on the skull and bones that you guys can watch after this one. But it's important to know that the skull and bones were created by two high degree Freemasons, Alfonso Taft and William Russell. The skull and bones only picked members out of Yale University and would go on to breed big politicians and even presidents like George Bush Sr., George Bush Jr., and William Howard Taft, the son of Alfonso Taft, the creator of the organization. Many members of the Skull and Bones also become members of the CIA as it's believed they recruit directly from the organization. It's believed that members of the Skull and Bones are drafted into the or recruited into the CIA. Now, Bone Thugs and Harmony, at least Lazy Bone, I know he has put skull and bones in some of his lyrics. Now, long before I knew about most of this, I suspected that they were CIA, Bone Thugs. Listen, back in the day, not that long ago, 10, 15 years ago, other people in hip-hop didn't even, they refused to talk about Bone Thugs in a negative light, about their Ouija board and all that stuff. They didn't even want to talk about them. They said they just don't want to talk about them. They didn't say who they were even talking about, but it was obvious. Okay, now why? Well, if they're CIA, that might be one reason, right? Now, well, another very strong, strong piece of evidence that I believe I thought of is their whole Ouija board thing. Uh, is they ask, you know, uh, basically, okay. You have your smartphone, you run your fingers across it and all this. It's, it's your gateway to like all the information in the world, right? Well, back in the mid nineties, you didn't have touch screen anything, right? But the CIA probably did. Now the Ouija board could be, you know, symbolism for a touch screen device, right? I'm going to have to ask the Ouija. And maybe he can tell you why you're hating on me. Or, um, what else? They, different references to the Ouija. Like, like I'm going to have to talk to Easy through the Ouija or something, right? Like a cell phone. Like, like a, a smartphone. Touch screen. That crossed my mind. And there's a lot more to it. Now, anyway. The Skull and Bones is a Masonic organization with endless influence and control. In the movie, Paul Walker plays the character Caleb Mandrake, the son of the leader of the Skull and Bones. There is a scene in the movie where a character reveals the organization's ritual room, leading to the character being taken out. They also have a scene where they show the initiation ritual and how the members are reborn. Paul Walker is a part of the initiation scene, which I find rather interesting. This movie was a Masonic movie with tons of references to Masonry. If you guys would like me to make a full video on this movie, comment the skulls below. It's obvious this movie marked Paul's initiation into the Masonic Order. The very next movie after the Skulls would just so happen to be Fast and the Furious, the movie that took Paul from being a small time actor to the megastar he was before he passed. This movie is what sparked his career, coincidentally, right after he was hidden in- Now he goes on to say, and I don't want to just keep recording, but he goes on to say that uh, Paul Walker was reported to have actually died between 3.20 and 3.30 <coughs> p.m., I, I believe. Um, which the guy in, that made this video says it is possible he died at exactly 3.22 p.m., which is the number of the skull and bones.